Hey, check it out guys. Here is the Adafruit Feather M0 Plus with the Wi-Fi module. Now that's pretty cool. If you can read that down there, that says 802.11bgn. This thing is uh, pretty quick at 48 kilohertz, or I'm, I'm sorry, 48 megahertz. This is a 3.3 volt logic chip, so you do need to be aware of that. It has the built-in battery charging circuitry. This uh, JST pin here can take a 3.7 volt LiPo. Uh, it's got native USB support, 256K of flash, eight PWM ports, 10 analog inputs, one analog output, uh, pin three, pin, I'm sorry, pin 13 and LED are, are, you know, hooked together just like any Arduino. And that's the beauty. This thing is 100% Arduino compatible. And it's only two inches long by an inch wide. How cool is that? Now, like I said, it's Arduino compatible. So that means you can use it with the Arduino IDE. And uh, there's a couple steps that you have to go through to make that happen. So let's go over to the PC and check it out. All right, guys, before you can use your Adafruit Feather M0, you're going to need to uh, take a couple of steps to make sure the computer recognizes it and that the Arduino IDE recognizes it. First step, make sure you have Arduino version 1.6.11 or later. Next, you're going to go into Preferences. Preferences. There we go. And what you want to do is you want to type this down here in additional board manager URL. This is the address for the Adafruit board manager pointers on GitHub. This will tell the IDE where to download the files that the IDE needs in order to run the uh, SAMD processor. So you type that in, click OK. Then you need to open your board manager and there are two board uh, definition files that you're going to need to install. The first one is this one. The Arduino SAM board. Nope, I'm sorry. It is this one. The Arduino. Let's try this again. Arduino SAM D boards 32 bit ARM Cortex M0 Plus. So to install it, you just click on more info. And since it's already installed on my computer, it says remove, but on yours, it will say install. Then you got to scroll down here towards the bottom and get the same thing here. But this time you are getting the Adafruit SAMD board. And uh, this is the version I installed today, December 6, 2016, 1.0.13. So you need to install those two things, and you may need a driver. If, uh, if it tells you you need a driver when you plug your board in, then you can go to Adafruit, go to their uh, Feather M0 Plus page, and it'll have a link to the driver you need. Okay, after you've installed those two items, all you need to do is plug in your board. And me here, my computer, I'm, I don't know if you heard it or not, it made the, the dink sound, which tells us that uh, it recognized it. Now we can come over here to Tools, Board, and select which board we're using and the port we're using. And this thing is acting funky right now. But once that's done, let's try this again. Huh. All right, 
let's see what it finds. I don't even hear it now. Okay, there it is. So our board, we come over here to the boards manager. It is the Adafruit Feather M0 native USB port. And then we come down to port, and it'll tell you right there, ba-boom. You can even come over here, get board info, and it'll tell you about your board. Then I'm just going to send this basic blink program to the board, and we'll see what it says. Because you're going to get a, what down here in this area is going to be just a little bit different than what you're used to seeing. It gives you a significant amount of more in, of information basically all right we're compiling our sketch still compiling our sketch okay here it is uploading and there it has uploaded let's uh Move this here so you can read this a little better. So you see it now tells you Atmel Smart Device, blah, 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 found device AT SAM D21G118A chip version, version address pages. Gives you a lot of information. Now it tells you it's written 8,540 bytes to flash. Gives you some memory. Uh, parameters what's been used verify successful it took 10 milliseconds to upload it reset the CPU and everything was fine so that is how you install the Adafruit Feather M0 onto your PC if you have a Mac well I feel sorry for you Linux uh, procedures pretty much the same anyway if you like this video, please like, comment, and share. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what the heck are you waiting for?